In Team Pulse, instead of requirements, we use user stories. This way we make sure that the focus is on the most important people, the users of your product and their needs. Each story is first defined by a description that captures the requirements into a simplistic form. The area supports rich text editing, thus allowing you to freely describe the goal in a specific user case scenario. You can also add attachments or links for reference that will provide additional information valuable for the requirement description. And everything is kept alongside the original requirement so you can easily find it. Forget about long email conversations and lost requirements. With Team Pulse, everyone can leave comments within the story item. Here you can also mention a team member to involve him or her in a discussion around the story item. And if you want to follow the progress of the story, check the box to be notified by email for any updates and modifications. To ensure full traceability of your work, you can easily create relationships between items. You can create relationships between all types of items. Out of the story, a feedback item, a bug, an issue, or a risk. And when relating the story with another item, you can define how exactly they're affected by one another. In our case, that consists of several child stories. You have a long list of requirements and you need an effective way to categorize them. Team Pulse provides you with a rich list of optional properties that you can use to organize your requirements. Setting an area allows you to organize your backlog by work themes. That provides you with a deeper way to classify your requirements and how they are to be used. For example, they could reflect different modules of the software you are developing. You can also nest the areas so that every project has a different set of areas available. Tags can be used to label stories in any way that your team wants to. In the other details area, you can set the priority of the story. But if you want to be more specific, you can use the additional fields. The priority class defines how important the requirement is from the customer standpoint, while the value class defines its importance from the business perspective. Here you can quickly break stories down into tasks and assign them to different team members. Once the item properties is set, you can deal more easily with your complex backlog or multiple backlogs by filtering by area, tags, personas, or priority class. But when is the story done? When the business criteria are satisfied. And you can capture those criteria into Team Pulse as acceptance criteria. And that way, the developer, QA, and manager have more specific expectations for the requirements. With Team Pulse, you have full traceability and quickly see where your requirements originates from, what affected its development, as well, what is the impact of the changes introduced. You want to see how a requirement has evolved in time? Look at the History tab. It displays all the activities related to the story since its creation up to now. In order to meet your clients and other stakeholders' expectations, you first need to understand their needs. With the ideas and feedback portal that comes as a Team Pulse extension, you can collect their feedback, ideas, or feature requests, prioritize them by collecting votes and comments, and then turn them into requirements. All the feedback items submitted on the portal are also visible in Team Pulse so you can relate them to a story and be able to trace them back. You can also use the portal to validate your ideas by allowing customers to vote and leave their feedback on them. Sign up today for a free 30-day trial of Team Pulse at Telerik.com.